been here since 2000. Uh, I started building it in 1999 after Hurricane Floyd. I bought this property because it didn't flood during Floyd. And I grew up in Buckhead, North Carolina, which is a Native American community. Um, and I'm Wakamasuan. And this is the last house that my dad, Harold Jacobs, physically built himself. He and I worked hand in hand on this house from the beginning. Hurricane Matthew uh, was the original storm that damaged the house. We did not flood like rising water. We had a river of overflow that came uh, from the flooded area through the underside of the house that took out the ductwork, the HVAC system, and the insulation. And then whenever the water and power came back on, one of the pipes burst and, and inside the house on the second floor, which ended up flooding the inside of the house. And we had repaired part of the damages and then uh, Hurricane Florence came. And again, we had the overflow flooding uh, of the river underneath the house. And so all the repairs that we, were, we had done were destroyed. There was no way that we could afford to fix it. The Rebuild NC program, I had heard about it on the radio um, and I had actually called the number and it never, it kind of never went anywhere. And then I heard about it from a friend who was actually accepted by the program. So when she was accepted by the program, uh, I called again and this time uh, actually got a meeting scheduled. And when I got the meeting scheduled, um, I went and spoke to them. Then it just kind of stalled. You know, I gave them everything that they needed and then it just wasn't going anywhere. We felt alone. Um, and so then all of a sudden things started to change. And I found out later it's because Encore was developed in, in, by the governor and that they took over. And when Encore took over Rebuild NC, it made a tremendous difference. It just catapulted things. They just immediately started um, rolling. Things started changing. And um, all of a sudden, they were ready to start work. It was, it was phenomenal. The uh, workers themselves, uh, both the construction workers and all the workers in the program, they deserved to be recognized. They deserve to be congratulated. Their work is incredible. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's really something. It's amazing seeing how much they've done in such a short time of just being here. And I'd say it's just amazing having my house with no negative feelings about it at all. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, they've done a really good job and I, I couldn't be happier with the work that they've produced. And I, I just can't thank them enough. There was a long period of time when we felt alone, when we felt like that um, nothing was going to actually come about and that we were gonna be this way forever and that it was just gonna deteriorate until we had nothing left. And to have all that changed has, has been life-changing. 